Good morning everyone. And this is Puppy's four week old videos. And they're just waking up. They sleep a lot. So I'm trying to get, tried to work it so where they're moving around. Um, we're not going to put them up on the table. I left it set up to put them up there. But they're not wanting up there. They, they, uh, they run to get away from me because they, they don't like the camera anymore. So what I did is I took their Christmas collars off. So we could see them moving around and so you can see which one's yours. Uh, I've got a little Rakaya there. That's a Rakaya. Uh, she's doing really good on the doggy potty. But I want to go over each one. This is little light green. We'll get his face. We'll get his face. That's light green. And this is Rakaya. Oh, we already did Rakaya's video. Light green. <laughs> get so many of them I can't keep track. This is dark blue. This is dark blue. Yeah, so what a cutie. Let's see. Who haven't we got? We have um, brown. And brown is now um, Stewie. Stewie. And then dark blue is now Charlie. It's Charlie. And uh, light green. Come on, baby. Up on the doggy potty. When I see him pee and I... This is Stitch. This is Stitch. And then we have Red. Red has a new home now. I'll go over that with you. Her new name is Luna. I'll go over her buyers as soon as I go through all the puppies. Luna. And this is Frankie. That's Frankie. They're all, I'm squatting down so they all want me. Frankie. Now let me see. Over here we have Lily all over um, <laughs> Scooby. So this is Lily. This is Lily. What a cutie. Yeah, so what a cuties. And then we have Scooby. Scooby, what a cutie. And Tiga. And Tiga. Yes. Yes, I'm squatting so they're all down by my feet. They think I, I'm going to help them with a the nipple. We're, we're, we'll be doing the weaning on uh, day after Christmas. We'll be starting weaning them. I thought about doing it before, but... With the pictures and videos up until Christmas, and then I, Christmas, I just said, you know what, I'm just going to wait until after, the day after Christmas. And that'll be really fun, but, uh, and messy. <laughs> but I wanted to explain, on uh, Monet's recent video, this week's video, I started to tell you why it was so hard, because the pup, with the puppies being, I had to keep them still in the whelping bed. But I never did tell you why. Uh, Monet's in here feeding, was feeding her puppies all the time, and Shamoy doesn't want to be in here. So that's what the problem was. So um, I didn't dare take them out of the whelping bed because they would all be bombarding Monet, and she didn't want to wean herself away from them yet. So they would all be bombarding, bombarding her to get nipples. So I wanted to wait until she was ready to start separating herself before I took them out of the whelping bed because now I. Mamas don't come in. They come in just during feeding time. And if they do come in, I put a little, like, a, a onesie on them uh, to wear while they see their puppies. But usually during the feeding time, I let, them, let Monet stay in here as long as she wants with them and plays with them. And they feed four times a day. So that's a significant time for them to, uh, to start uh, to be uh, together. Yeah, the way, there we have uh, Rikaya. And let's see. Uh, Luna. Luna. But I got their weights. Puppies are doing so well. As you can see, they're getting along the round really good. We have all the toys over here in this corner. And then we have the doggy, bat, uh, doggy potty that they're actually doing really good on. I only have one in here right now, but as soon as I start the weaning where I can remove this bed over here because I have to have a bed for each mama to lay in. Then we're going to bring in two, which is only, which is only, it will probably be, if I start the weaning on Monday, uh, mamas, mamas will both be done in here in, two days after that, so Wednesday. So probably Wednesday I'll be bringing up two doggy potties. But uh, we have them all about here down by my feet. But I'm glad they're up and moving around because usually when, once I take them, this is a hard, hard thing to get them to do because they just sleep so much. That's little Frankie down there on his back. And then we got little Lily on top of him. And you're going to hear a lot of growling and fighting. And that's what normal and 
uh, the packs. Now, every litter is a pack, and every litter fights for uh, the leadership. So, you'll hear that a lot. And the toughest one, I guess, wins. So, uh, But that's they all do that. They all gang up on each other. If it gets too bad, I intervene. But uh, if they're just like that, like if Frankie gets mad and upset because he can't get up, I'll help him up. But he seems to be liking it pretty good. <laughs> He's just laying around his back. What do you do, buddy? Yeah, she's you liking it on your back. Is you liking it on your back? Yeah, you is. What are you doing? You're just a cutie. Is you liking it on your back? Yeah, they're all just on top of me. We can't even see him anymore. We got Rakaya there. I'll get him. I'll get him. He's on his back. He's down. Let's just all get him. <laughs> yeah, what are they doing over there, Frankie? What are you doing? You're just a cutie. You're just a cutie. Yes, you are. They are all. They all are. I mean, right down to... Hey guys, what are you doing in here? Get, 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 get. I got the door closed and that was Tobias. He's, he's barking at the puppies and stuff. What you doing, little Rikaya? Hey, hey, hold on. What you doing, sweetie? But yeah, we're, and if I see him chewing on anything, not that anything around here matters, but I, uh, I stop him from chewing just simply because I, I try to help you out when you get them home because you're not going to... So by the time they leave, they will know, uh, no, no. So that's little uh, a Stitch over there. This is little Tiga, purple. And then we got uh, Rakaya. Rakaya's um, going on the whelping bed. Oh, she's got a ball over there. she got a ball. They're playing with toys and just all over the place. So I'm going to go over a few things real quick. I mentioned in Monet's letter that I wish I'd have got the blankets around. I did get them around. And I did get the toys and everything around. So we're going to go over that real quick. And I want to go over their weights. So I'll go over their weights. Uh, I'll go right down the line. So light blue, which is Frankie. He weighs 3 pounds, 6 ounces today. Um, dark blue, which is Charlie. And he weighs 2 pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. Red, which is Luna, uh, weighs 2 pounds, 5.8 ounces. Pink, which is Lily, uh, she weighs 2 pounds, 5.4 ounces. Tiga, which is Purple, weighs 2 pounds, 4.4 ounces. Black, which is Scooby, weighs 2 pounds, 9.4 ounces. Uh, light green, which is Stitch, he's just over 3 pounds, he's 3, three pounds, 0 0.6 ounces, and then brown, which is Stewie, is 2 pounds, 8.4 ounces. So, who we got whining? I think, uh, I think probably Frankie wants up. What are you doing down there, Frankie? You want to get up. You want to get up? Yes, you want to get up. There we go. He wants to get up. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to turn the camera off the puppies for just a minute to go over this stuff. Um, here's, we have the blankets. These are the specialty, specialty sets. I quit offering them because I don't have any more material to make them. But I have some. And I have three of the pink. And I had a, I had a little, oh, and I probably left it out there. I have three of the pink, which I'm sure goes to, one goes to Carla, Peyton, and, uh, Peyton, and who was the other one? Oh, gosh, I left that out there. Um, anyway, I'm going to let three of the, uh, the females, uh, uh, specialty sets go for the first three male picks. And then I have two of the specialty males, which is, I know one is Sharon. And I'm not sure of the other one. So um, get with me and I'll let you know if the specialty sets are available. Because sometimes even though the, the first two or three can have them, they pass them up and go with the other colors. So we'll call this a polka dotted specialty. We'll call this the, uh, the blue specialty and this the pink specialty. And I have three pinks, one blue, and one blue. So those are the specialty. These are the colors of the regular blankets that I'm offering. This is purple. It's like a light lavender, baby lavender. 
This is light pink. This is rose pink. This is mint green and yellow and blue. So get with me on those, on your colors. And uh, I'm sorry I didn't have that paper. I thought it was well organized, but you know how that is. So anyway, this is a treat pot I was telling you about. It's uh, like I said, you buy this out of the store, it's 11 bucks. I'm offering it uh, for $8. So if anybody's interested in what they what you do, this is a flavored bone. So even it, once they uh, the treat pods, they eventually will eventually crack and come off. They can still chew on the chick. It's chicken flavor, I think. And the pods open up, and you can put treats in them. And, and they last, you know, like if you're going to go away or something and want to keep them um, occupied. This is awesome. So these are eight. And then uh, everybody, this is in the Nyla Bone that I told you that everybody will get in their goodie bag. And, and you can see the strip of uh, jerky down the center. So everybody will get one of these in the goodie bag. And then I have just two of these that uh, if anybody's interested, first come, first serve. Um, let them go for $6. And these, I think, they're bacon flavors. So if anybody wants the two extra bones here, I used to give these out before I found the jerky bones but now everybody gets the jerky so i have two of these if anybody's interested i have the keys out here just because this is an awesome toy especially when you first get them home we'll focus more on the puppies now when you get them home they're gonna you're gonna look for need something small and for some reason even my adult dogs because you can buy these in sizes small i think small i don't know about medium but small and large i buy the large for my adult and they just love them i think they're all flavored i think they're each one of the keys of probably a living ch liver chicken and bacon flavor because they seem to just love these even the puppies do and they're small enough to get them in their mouth to help with the teething issue so as you can see i've got pitch pads all over the floor and so if puppies go potty on the pitch pads i don't make i don't um i don't really make a big deal i try to pick them up and put them on the doggy potty just because i walk in here several times a day and i don't it's, it's no fun if i walk in here and step on poop so <laughs> so anyway so i uh i try to um pick them up and that now and then i want them to get used to doggy potty i sell the pitch pads um i'm not sure what page is under uh and I'm not sure of the price, but it's on, I think it's under potty training. If you go under potty training, you'll see the price of the pitch pads. And um, I recommend two because they cannot be put in the dryer. So that way you have one to use while the other one is being used. So anyway, this is puppies. Uh, today is uh, December, oh gosh, what is today? 23rd, December 23rd, the 2016. This is puppies four week old video. And we're getting on the long side. So as you can see, I got the gate here if you're questioning the gate. The reason that's there is because I have to put that up when I'm doing changing the bedding. Otherwise, I get bombarded and the puppies don't stay off the bedding. So I just figured that that would be an easy solution. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, we're going getting the video kind of long. And again, this is the last video before Christmas. And I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And we'll see you next time on Puppies 5 Weeks Old video. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.